Savage Life Family, it's about time that we do an Ethereum Classic update. Should you buy more, should you sell? It has dropped off to $27. It is at a beautiful price point, but there is a lot of external factors affecting the market. So first things first, if you want to receive some buy and sell alerts, join the Patreon in the link description for Ethereum Classic, where you'll be able to swing ETC based on these alerts, giving you some good entries and some good exits out of your position, scalping five to 10% trades, month by month, which is easily going to grow your portfolio as time goes on. Now, if we pay attention to Ethereum Classic or the overall cryptocurrency market, it is an absolute shambles. Market cap at $921 trillion and Ethereum Classic has dropped down rank from 17 to 22. Now, what does that mean? It is a slight shift as people are panic selling and exiting out of their position, but I don't blame them since the Federal Reserve has been tightening inflation or trying to combat inflation by rising interest rates every two weeks or every month now that is drastically affecting the economy it's drastically affecting stock markets the crypto markets and is going to be bloody like this not to mention september is historically bearish but that doesn't mean ultimately crypto is going to fail and i know it seems bad in the short term but i did found a bullish indicator that could let us know that Ethereum Classic may double within the next two to three month period. So if we take a look at Ethereum Classic technicals, we can see here a negative cup and handle has finally formed on September 17. Now this is good in the sense that the previous cup and handle that formed here in June, one month passed from June to July, and then in July we saw an explosive gain 240 percent rising ethereum classic 32 dollars from 13 dollars to 45 dollars after this cup and handle formation was formed now is that luck i would say so because we had another instance here which is what i was betting on as well the previous time where a negative cup and handle formation formed on november 21st of 2019 we had a period of one month of consolidation and then in that period we saw an explosive gain of 270 dollars or 270 percent which jumped ethereum classic from three dollar price points to 14 dollars so if in the span of a month we see another 200 percent gain it would put ethereum classic at the 40 60 dollar price point levels and that's being absolutely bullish as we are in a bear market season. So I would bet my eggs on that basket, of course, if you don't need to sell the bags at the current moment. Remember from now, September 23rd, we are going to be seeing some consolidation for ETC for at the very least a month and maybe some downfall pressure until this bullish activity ends up kicking in, which could easily double your money. On the same note, Ethereum Classics hash rate has dropped off from 300 terahashes to 174 terahashes. I believe there's still more dropping off to come as a lot of these miners who are on ETC are now realizing that ETC is not quite profitable to mine at the moment and their bank account cannot take the hit of their electric bills and their rig payments. So they are stopping the effect. Now for those believers out there who are still continually mining ETC, as you can see, there's still a lot of them with the Thera hashes being this high. They're betting on Ethereum Classic to easily rise in price in the mid to long term period as they are mining ETC and hotly not selling right away as they would be selling at a loss. And that'd be the dumbest thing anyone could do. But who, who knows? Who knows? So we also have the fear and greed index. Now, extreme fear is showing. It's been showing like this for the last month or two. Why is that? Interest rates are rising. Inflation is through the roof. Everything is much more expensive. Insurances are rising. So this is going to continually happen until we see a turnaround in inflation, which is not to be expected until 2023, 2024 is what analysts are saying. And that's scary because that's one external factor that could sway this whole cryptocurrency market is how the people react with the rise of inflation and the rising of interest rates. Usually 
people tend to sell off in a fear of panic and want to hold on as much cash as possible and save up as much money as possible in case of a rainy day that is due to come. There's always going to be believers. There's always going to be long-term hodlers in these fundamental coins like ETC, Ethereum, uh, Solana, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, as it's now made that reputation, which is just going to carry on ETC or these cryptocurrencies throughout this winter that we have to weather. I've seen a shift in volume. There's this new exchange called XT.com, which is taking quite a bit of Ethereum Classics volume currently. And I searched up the exchange and it is currently the, the world's first social infused exchange. Now, I don't really know exactly what that means. Hopefully, someone could explain it down below in the comment section. But this exchange is actually headquartered and located in Dubai. And it has sensors of operations in Singapore, Seoul, and countries and regions and businesses that covers the world. So, main majority of that volume seems to be coming from XT.com. And what's not good about that is that this is a derivatives exchange as well. So a lot of these people are betting on futures and options and leveraging Ethereum Classic. As you can see, bids being at 49 million to ask being at 36 million. It seems a majority of that activity right now is bullish on ETC as it is on the low spectrum of price. And there is a possibility for an additional two to three dollar scalp for those traders out there. But the thing about all these options and leverage traders coming to Ethereum Classic is the phase of liquidations near the end of the month as we are drawing closer to the end of September. If Ethereum Classic doesn't hit a certain price threshold, all of these longs who are betting on ETC's price to hit that will end up being liquidated, which ultimately will cause that drawback in Ethereum Classic. Now, we have major bets being placed at $30 price points at $32 price points. So if it doesn't hit those prices by the end of the month, we can see a further drop off, maybe the $24, $25 price point levels, as we have some supports there holding us intact. There's one thing I wanted to mention, which is not good news. This article was sort of buried because it took a while for me to find it, but it was Compute North Files Bankruptcy as Crypto Mining Host owes up to $500 million. So they owe at least 200 creditors, and the filing is likely to have negative implications for the industry as Compute North is one of the largest data centers providers for miners and has multiple deals with other larger mining companies. Why are they filing for bankruptcy? After Bitcoin has dropped off majorly in price to these $18,000 price points, they are filing for bankruptcy because it is no longer profitable to mine and they're losing hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars every single month in electricity bills alone trying to continue to mine Bitcoin. So it's not profitable for them. And if they are filing for bankruptcy, their analysts have calculated that Bitcoin will not rise in price within a period of them running out of money, which is not bullish at all. So this caused the Bitcoin hash rate here to plummet, well not plummet, but drop from 262 million Therahashes to 221 million Therahashes in a single day. Now it's still the most secure proof of work blockchain or coin out there but this was a huge hit and as time goes on a lot of individuals are going to stop mining bitcoin as the difficulty is currently too high the rewards are too low and the profitability is not there at its current price point as bitcoin carries the entire market that could have some selling pressure coming within the near future maybe in the span of a singular week so is it a good time to buy ethereum classic ladies and gentlemen it depends if you are a trader or a leverage trading betting on the options expiring at the end of the month then most definitely if you are trying to go ahead and buy for your long-term portfolio and dollar cost average i'd wait slightly as there is potential for a further dip and it's too much of a bet if you are betting on the options expiring and don't want that risk to take place a few dollars will not hurt your portfolio and a few weeks or a few days will not hurt you as there's always an opportunity to enter if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like and subscribe i'll go ahead and catch you guys on the next update see ya